one and the governor's stay at home order expires next Friday. He says we can expect some things to begin to change. Still, coronavirus cases statewide continue to climb. According to the Department of Health, there are now more than 26,000 cases and there are 1,644 deaths, which is 43 more than on Friday. The amount of people in the hospital and on ventilators has remained steady overnight. Friday, the state also released a number of those who have recovered. They say that will be updated weekly, so since yesterday it has remained the same. Since the start of this pandemic, thousands of Louisianans have filed for unemployment and many are having trouble paying their rent. With that in mind, one local organization is raising money to help those struggling in the area. Megan Key brings us this story. This pandemic has taken a toll on all of us, but for people who are out of work, it's putting their livelihood at risk. The majority of people who live in New Orleans rents. Local housing advocate Housing NOLA tells us on March 1st, weeks before the stay at home order went into effect, 50,000 people here were in need of rental assistance. Renters are incredibly vulnerable in New Orleans. They were already cost burdened, not able to pay what they could afford, living check to check. When the stay at home order started and people started losing their jobs, a group of neighbors came together and formed the GNO Caring Collective. Our main goal in the beginning was to get people what they needed without compromising their health. For weeks, they focused solely on getting food to those in need, but are now looking to expand their efforts to provide rental assistance to people who don't qualify for unemployment benefits. If you are, for example, a dancer or if you work in a bar and you are not pay stub for whatever reason, if you're self-employed, you're an artist that works in Jackson Square or a tarot reader, um, these are valuable members of our society who are just falling through the cracks. The group created this GoFundMe page to help. Right now, it's still in the fundraising stage. Volunteers want to hit their $40,000 goal before they start distributing the funds. We don't want to open up before we are fully funded. And the reason for that is we just don't want to frustrate our community um, by opening up and then closing since these are quite large sums of money that that are being handed out. As more donations come in, they hope to extend help to our hospitality workers. Tough times like this really do bring us together and shine a light on the good in people. Reporting in New Orleans, Megan Key, Eyewitness News. And in national news, the White House is doing damage control after President Trump seemed to suggest that Americans might be able to inject themselves with disinfectant to get rid of the coronavirus. Yesterday, the coronavirus task force did meet, but they did not hold a public briefing. Dr. Anthony Fauci has been on the front lines uh, since the beginning, but he managed to stay away from the controversy. Fauci commented on the latest coronavirus cases via live stream as the president tweeted that the U.S. has now tested more than 5 million people. We're doing about 1.52 million per week. We probably should get up to twice that as we get into the next several weeks, and I think we will. So the CDC has added six more coronavirus symptoms to its official list. It originally only included fever, cough, and shortness of breath, but now chills, shaking, muscle pain, headache, sore throat, and loss of appetite or smell are all considered indicators of COVID-19. But still, that question, can we inject household disinfectants to fight the coronavirus? There's some confusion about that after the statements by the president. We had our verified team breaking down what he said and whether this is a safe practice. Dozens of articles have claimed that President Trump suggested people could inject disinfectant to combat the coronavirus. There are two questions we want to verify. First, did the president say this? And second, is this actually safe? Let's start with the press conference Thursday. Before the clip in question, DHS Secretary William Bryan presented new research about bleach and isopropyl alcohol killing the coronavirus. Shortly after, President Trump said this. Right, and then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that so that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. So yes, we can verify President Trump did talk about injecting disinfectants. But it's important to note later in the same briefing, the president clarified with this. So how do you know? We're talking about almost a cleaning sterilization of an area. 
Right. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't work. And on Friday, he told reporters the comment was made sarcastically. Interior-wise, it's it said sarcastically. It was, it was put in the form of a question. So some conflicting statements about injecting disinfectants. We can't verify what the president meant to say. What we can verify is whether it's safe to inject disinfectants or use them internally. The answer is no. The makers of Lysol, Reckitt Benkiser, put out a statement that, quote, under no circumstance should their disinfectants be used internally. And the American Cleaning Institute, an association of more than 100 manufacturers, said disinfectants should be used on hard surfaces only, not ingested, injected, or used on the skin. The EPA has a list of cleaners that are known to destroy the coronavirus. They say to follow the labels on cleaners for safe use and that the cleaners are, quote, for use on surfaces, not humans. Bottom line, there might be debate over what the president meant, but one thing is definitely clear. You should not inject or ingest disinfectants under any circumstance. With your Verify, I'm Jason Puckett.